Oh, claw machine, jukebox, all that good stuff. It's the auction, guys. It's the preview time, and we are starting off here looking at some old vending machines and some old ATM cabinets, uh, change machines, all that good stuff. So welcome to the live stream. If you're watching us live or if you're watching the restream, thanks for joining us for this morning, guys. All right, so we're just going to wait for our first viewer here while we're doing that. We're looking at some change machines. So these ones are your tabletop change machines. And we've got some vending machines over here, too. Different stuff like that. Uh, we're going to wait just a minute before we go up the road. But today's video, or today's preview live stream, um, there's going to be kind of a lighter, uh, lighter stuff today, guys. There's not as much inventory here as there normally is. And we got our first couple viewers. Welcome to the live stream. All right, so what I was just saying is our, the inventory today is not what it usually is. It's a little bit lighter today, which is kind of surprising for being the last auction of 2020 and right before Christmas at the same time. So with that said, being less, less inventory and the same amount of money for people coming in, you never know what prices are going to be like today, guys. I'm thinking they're going to be high. All right, so let's take a look around. So starting off, we are just going to we'll go up and down the rows. And, you know, ever since this whole pandemic started, they've just been mixing the games all together. So you're going to see a mixture of both classics drivers claw machines all that good stuff all kind of put together so starting off uh, from a classic point of view we got a gyrus we got a street fighter alpha 2 lots of good stuff all right let's go up and down the rows and see what we got going on guys i'm going to point out some of the cooler stuff there's a cabal in some sort of atari cabinet i can't tell if that's a dig dug or a kangaroo maybe one of the two Hey, Arcade Master and Fun. Hey, John. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right, so we're here at the auction preview. Don't forget, guys, the full-blown auction video will go live tomorrow, which is Sunday, December 13th. All right, let's see. We got a Power Drift, a WWE or WWF at the time, and a Sega Afterburner. What else we got? Multi-K, The Simpsons, this one... Uh, it's got the two speaker grills. It's been painted. Not the right joysticks, but still cool. It's got a CRT monitor in it. Here we go. Here's a, my favorite game, Donkey Kong. It's in a particle board cabinet. Looks like it's in really nice condition, though. Very cool. Arcade Master Fun says, what are some of the cranes? Don't worry, we will get to all the cranes. I'm going to show you every machine that's in this auction today. All right. Here we go, we got Killer Instinct 2, Time Pilot, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter 3 Alpha. This is the Centipede, Millipede, and Missile Command Redo. And a Space Invader Silver Anniversary Edition. Oh, we got a Nintendo Red 10 over there. Look at that, guys, Nintendo Red 10. You don't see those very often, especially with the monitors and some other cocktail machines. We'll take a better look at those in a bit. Here's Jukebox Row. And all right, we're gonna go down this row next. It's gonna have some crane machines, some redemption machines. This is kind of a mixture, guys. So here's an Injustice Arcade, Toy Taxi. Uh, let's see, a Basketball Pro, kind of cool. You always see these in your skating rinks and places like that. We got the, uh, oh, what's this thing called? Treasure Quest, I guess, I don't know. My kids always love to play that game. What else we got? Uh, let's see, John says, I saw the Space Invaders game in Texas and they made a scratch. Scratch off game. Yeah, so as a matter of fact, it's kind of funny you mentioned that. So this morning I stopped to get my coffee at one of the local gas stations here in Tennessee and I was looking at their, their lottery tickets because a lot of times you can find arcade themed scratch off tickets right now. Unfortunately, I didn't see any or I would have bought some. All right, so you might remember some of these cabinets from the last auction. They were certainly here. Um, JRB2, there's a balloon buster for you, buddy. What else we got? Jorn says, hello, Matt. Hey, good morning, Jorn. Thanks for joining the live stream. We've got a prize locker, a magic shot, a skill ball, some, how about a Kung Fu Panda Dojo Mojo. What else we got? Some ticket eater machines, some stackers. Here's a whack and win, deal or no deal, Elvis coin pushers, a plush bus, some more project claw machines. There's a fish table. I think I'm gonna go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is the remake. You see it all the time now in arcades. Arcade Master Fun says Stacker's awesome. Yes, I agree. I've got a couple of those machines, too. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these today, guys. These are the old, classic, clean, sweep, big choice claw machines. There's a lot of these today. Those are going to go for probably very little money. So if you're ever looking for, like, a game for your home game room or something like that, that's the kind of place you want to find it here, so a place like this, because they're going to go cheap. 
All right. Um, Pinball Row is up there. As you can see, they're still unloading in this area. So I'm going to move away from this area right now. We're going to go to the far end. While I'm walking over here, guys, welcome to the live stream. Again, don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. The full-blown coverage video will go live tomorrow, which is Sunday, December the 13th. All right, there's your pool tables and air hockey machines. We typically don't film those. Um, there's just never a, not a lot of interest. I always get one person, though, that is upset with me, so I apologize in advance. All right, we got plenty of classics and more claw machines in these rows here. Let's go up and down the rows. So here's a trivia cabinet, poker cabinet, turn multicade. It's got one of the cool um, multi boards, though, with that cool menu. Matt K, if you're watching, I know you like those, too. All right, here's a Nintendo Popeye cabinet. This one looks like it's in nice shape, too. No side art, but uh, the condition of the cabinet is pretty nice. It is plywood, not particle board. So pretty cool. All right, what else we got? John says, would you get a pool table? Would make good money. Yeah, it would if I had the location for it. But I just, I can, most of the places I would put a pool table already have pool tables. Uh, I'm getting a lot of questions about what machines I'm interested in. Personally, there's nothing that here that I have to have today. It all depends about the deals, guys. Look at this, guys. So here's a Tekken in a Dynamo cabinet with an LCD screen TV. This is a TV, not a screen, just mounted on the front. That's, that's pretty cool. Here's a, wow, a Jungle King project. This has seen better days. Uh, would clean up pretty nice, though. The cabinet doesn't look like it's got too much damage. Um, it just looks like it's got some crazy paint all over it. Um, but Jungle King, guys, that's a great game. What else we got? Target Terror, Area 51. Here's a 20-year reunion cabinet. Dream Raiders, we've seen that in a previous auction. There's, there's the pair, Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man. What else we got? Mortal Kombat 4. Lots of drivers. Thunderbolt, Pole Position 2. Uh, Wizard of War. What else? Uh, let's see. Invasion, the abductors. There's a mini Pac-Man arcade party. Okay, look at this, guys. Sega's Holiseum. We haven't seen one of those in forever. Remember this one? This is the one where they had like the holographics in there. Kind of a cool game. Man, I don't even think parts are really available for this game, but how, when was the last time you saw one of these, guys? I've never seen one at auction, that's for sure. Notice for all you auction people, notice it's got a red dot. It's got a red dot. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. All right. Miss Pac-Man Turbo Sega, or Outrun, Turbo Outrun. Here's another pair of Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man, but it's got a Miss Pac-Man marquee on that one. Ah, uh, Galaga. Here's a sit-down Outrun. Check that out. I haven't seen one of these in a while either. Is this the motion one too? I think this is the motion one. Yeah, I think that's the one that actually moves as you play. We'll have to see if we can't test that game. That would be fun to play. Another pole position. Here's a bowling in an Atari cabinet. Hey, John. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, let's see. What do we got? This is a... Is that a an, an, eyes, an eyes cabinet? Um, it's got a create uh, uh, just a generic marquee, some Sky Shark side art, Romstar product. You know, who knows? Uh, what else we got? We got a Joust police trainer, Tekken Tag, a relief pitcher that's in a Defender cabinet, Mach E, which is a laser disc game, Neo Geo. Is that is that the goalie cabinet, guys? Keep keep me uh, keep me legit here. Is that the goalie cabinet? I think that might be the Goldie cabinet. I could be wrong. Pac-Man, look at this guy's though. Play Choice 10. It's in pretty good shape, not too bad. A little, little, little ding at the bottom there. Uh, but looks clean, very cool. There's the Altered Beast in what looks like it was probably a Frogger or something like that at one time. Um, another Donkey Kong cabinet. This one is plywood. Nice shape. Yeah, there was a Smash TV converted to something else. I, I didn't really talk about it too much, though, but I did see that Smash TV cabinet. Here's a Mario Brothers in a Donkey Kong Jr., a Galaxian, Centipede. And then, guys, there's some projects here today, which typically we don't see projects here like this. So this is what we're going to call Project Row over here. And don't mind, they're, they're inflating a, a bouncy house, too, to sell. Anyway, so project-wise, there's some Project Pinball machines, which you never see. Here's a Data East Checkpoint. 
This is a Wedgehead Gottlieb Squarehead pinball machine. Uh, red line, I think. Or checkup. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this one. It's a Data, data East. Here's another um, Allied Leisure. Okay, I've heard of Allied Leisure. This is Rock On. There is a Shadow and Kings of Steel. Those are all projects. There's some uh, showcase cabinet projects. There's some uh, Miss Pac-Man empty cabinet project here. So like I said, typically we don't see projects of this level here. Um, it's going to be kind of difficult for me to get in here. But there's um, some generic cabinets, poker cabinet. Looks like a Konami four-player cabinet. Um, either a Dig Dug or a Kangaroo. Some more drivers. And I know I can see like a virtual fighter back there. Um, there's that NBA Showtime, a couple things like that. All right, let's move back down to this row over here. Let's go down this row, and then we'll come up the next row, and we'll see what else is available today. Yeah, guys, we're blowing up a bouncy house to sell. All right, this one's more of a claw machine row. There's mainly claw machines here, but a couple of them. All right, I'm just checking the comments, guys. Sorry. Here we go. Toy Soldier. Uh, a couple not stacker machines <laughs> pile up and block party. So typically they're just like stacker machines, but they're, I don't know if they couldn't get the license or whatever it is. Here's some coast to coast cranes guys. So these ones are pretty much the ones that I go with whenever I, whenever I get crane machines. Here's a Bozo's Big Prize, Toy Taxi, Dog Patrol, Candy Factory, Toy Taxi, Dog Patrol, Dog Patrol, Dog Patrol, Dog Patrol. Lots of different cranes by coast to coast. Uh, but there are a few smart industry candy cranes here. So here's one, a candy crane there. And then there's the other one. These ones are perfect for like, for like your home game rooms because they're, they, they're about the same size as an arcade machine. So pretty cool. And they usually don't go for that much money here. Um, that one's got some glass issues though on that one. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. Biggest catch. Not a game I've ever seen. Here's a Bling King, some more toy taxis, some pot of silver coin pushers. What else we got? Ticket Eater, Plush Palace, some uh, little vending machine there, some other smaller candy cranes, other claw machines. Here we go. So here's some of those old school machines I was talking about. These ones are probably gonna go for very little money. Um, skill cranes, big choice. There's another candy crane, another big choice. This fantasy kid, I'm not sure, is that is that coast to coast? It looks like it's set up like coast to coast, but it could be coastal, I don't know. Beanbag cranes, big choice, action claw. Those, those are the old school ones. Here's a barber cut, another stacker. Let's check the prizes in the stacker. Looks like baseball, glove themes, different things. You know, I always like to check what prizes are in there. You never know. All right, guys, again, welcome to the live stream, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We are at the Arcade Pinball Vending Coin Up and All Things Cool Auction in Sevierville, Tennessee. Don't forget to subscribe. The full-blown video of the coverage with prices and all the, uh, all the hammer drops will go live tomorrow, which is Sunday. December 13th. All right, here's a couple police trainers. A police trainer one and a police trainer two. I don't think I've ever seen a police trainer two. Looks like that might even be a dedicated. Well, no, it's it's, a, it's got kit art on the side. John says, I think you should try Claw Stacker, Keymaster, or even racing games. Yeah, yeah. You never know. All right, another Miss Pac Man. Check out the, the marquee on this one. This one's got the new Hot Pursuit action. I don't see those marquees come up very often. That's pretty cool. Area 51. What else is down that row? Some pedestals. Looks like they got gold 2020 on them. Some Firebird little. Those are kind of cool. Golden Tees. Crazy Taxi. Here's more Pac Man, Miss Pac Man projects with LCD screens. X Men 4 player is great joysticks, but not the CRT monitor. Here's in the real, all this, this is a nice all original Miss Pac-Man. Of course, it's got some paint issues, but screen looks good. Look at that. Nice marquee. Little, still got some pink on the sides. It's cool. Daytona, USA. All right, what else? We got a Galaga over here. <laughs> it's got that square fire button on it. Pew, pew. Another 20-year reunion. Uh, more Daytona over here. More multicades. Oh, here we go. Here's a Tempest. I didn't see this one earlier. Tempest, look at that. It's definitely a project, but check it out. Tempest. It's probably got a non-working vector monitor in there. <laughs> All of you out there that know how Tempest goes. 
Here's a centipede project. No charge, no extra charge for the mold on the front. Crazy Kong in a kind of a cabaret type cabinet. Look at that Crazy Kong marquee. That's pretty cool. Afterburner. Here's a multi Williams cabinet. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see what else. We got more stuff over here, and then we can go up and down the uh, the unload row and maybe check out the small table as well. So here's an Oscar's Wild Ride. This is uh, the most extravagant gumball machine I've ever seen, and they're crazy. They take up a lot of space for a gumball gumball machine. Uh, here's some more claw machines, another coin pusher, but here's some more old school claw machines. As you can see, they've got the clean sweep, the big choice, and the skill crane. Another barber cut machine. Alright, so, we've got the middle row with the pinball machines and these other kind of games here we'll go take a look at. But again, it's in, it's in the row where they're unloading games, so I, I don't like to go in that row too often because I get in their way. So we're going to try and kind of swiftly get through that row real quick. But there's still more stuff being unloaded. While we're walking over here, guys, again, welcome and thanks for joining the live stream this morning. I, I appreciate having everyone here. Here's a couple Atari games coming in. A Gravatar, a Black Widow. Oh, Hit the Ice by Williams. Wow. I haven't seen one of those in a while. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. I was just checking the comments again. We got a Pac-Land. A Rally X Cabaret. These were not here for the uh, the preview video I recorded before this live stream, guys. So this is all new coming off the trucks. Final round, Ring King, Super Pac-Man. Bad dudes, and we got a double dribble in a millipede cabinet. Blazing Angels, another Play Choice 10. This one's got the punch out topper. Pretty cool. Johnny Neo Action Zero. Some other stuff. We're, we're gonna skate right through this unload zone here. Real quick, guys. Get the space door coming in. All right, sorry about that. Here we go, Leaf Enforcers. We got a Turtles in Time. This one is not the original cabinet. Um, yeah, hit the ice, Davey. You see that? When was the last time you saw one of those? I haven't seen one of those in forever. Hey, Brandon, welcome to the live stream. They're still unloading stuff, guys. You can see the trucks come in and they just unload stuff as they go. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um, who wants to see the pinball machines? <laughs> I know you do. There's an airborne coming in right here on this truck. All right, let's go take a look at the pinball machines. I know everybody likes the pinball machines. All right, here we go. We got a Stern Beatles, Stern Star Wars, Black Knight, Swords of Rage, Deadpool, The Getaway, which is High Speed 2, technically, right? High Speed 2. Uh, Gottlieb's Counterforce, South Park by Sega, which is my favorite pinball machine. Um, Marvel Avengers, we got a Family Guy, it looks like it's Terminate Tournament Edition, a Jersey Jack Willy Wonka pinball machine. Yeah, John, pinballs make a lot of money. They cost a lot of money, too. <laughs> this is going to go for a lot of money right here, this, this pinball machine here. Uh, we got a Williams Road Kings, a Rocky and Bullwinkle, Strikes and Spares, Comet, Special Force, Sea Ray, and Williams Slugfest. Now, check this out. There's some bingo machines here, too. You don't see those very often. And I really don't think they bring a lot of money, honestly, guys. Again, I'm, I'm right in the, in the loading zone. Let me kind of loop around here. All right, so just to show you, we got a Bally Game Show, an Aerosmith, Spider-Man, and some more uh, electromechanical stuff. We got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming in. That looks like a Williams Fire, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's Williams Fire. Um, I'm not sure what that one is. That one's a bit older and a Williams Contact. All right. So that, let's see, that does it for all the rows. Let's take a walk over to the small table. Let me see if I can squeeze through here. There we go. All right, let's go check out the smalls and the cocktails. because We said we'd go back to those. Yeah, I just heard somebody hit a pinball knocker. That means a free game, guys. All right, let's check out these cocktail machines, and then we'll check out the small table. All right, so we got an Atari, looks like it's an Asteroids Deluxe cocktail. This would have been a Miss Pac-Man, probably, originally. Um, Moon Cresta, Arkanoid, probably out of a, let's see, is that a Pac-Man? Yeah, that's a Pac-Man cabinet. Here we go, here is the red tent. It's got a monitor, but definitely needs some work. 
nothing showing on that side. I did see a board, a PCB inside, but who knows who knows what the status of that is. Um, we got lots of uh, brand new multicades. I knew being that it was the, the December auction, we'd see plenty of those. Um, let's see what else we got. We got just boxes of parts over here, some marquees, control panels, a popcorn machine, <laughs> snow cones. Um, this is pretty cool. We got a Jersey Jack, Wizard of Oz back glass. Uh, let's see, and, there, and there's a play field for Wizard of Oz. Some bags of random stuff, some touch tunes machines, some mega touch stuff. You know, cell phones kill D, so these usually don't go for a lot of money. Um, I always like to look around and see what we got. Slot machine, neons. There's a lot of firework advertisement pictures here too. So let me let me go over and check. They're, they're pretty cool. Look at this big bomb. Red Devil firecrackers. There's some Black Cat, Mad Dog, all that firework advertisement. Lots of billiard stuff. Tie downs for your truck. What kind of machines are these? Mega Touch, Encore. I'm not familiar with these things, but I always like to see what there is. All right, what else we got? Um, more artwork, kind of like game room bar decor, that kind of stuff. Radios. Here's some clock machines. Those are good for counting quarters. What is in here? I got to see what's in here. Oh, looks like a, some sort of testing or burning machine. That's pretty cool. Operate, yeah, programmer. It's a EEPROM programmer. But guys, this is where the cool stuff is. Look, check out all these PCBs. And of course, Shane's looking around over here. <laughs> you see, Shane, Shane sees the PCBs. Uh, he's already been through them, of course. <laughs> There's some good stuff over here. Have you, have you seen these? Yeah. There's some good stuff. So this box has some Nintendo stuff in it. There's some Nintendo stuff over here. Um, but just to take a look, we got Pit Fighter, which is not a great game. Super Contra. Um, what else we got? We got Devastator. I'm not, not familiar with that one. Outrun. A good Outrun board, if that's true. You know, finding a good Outrun board is always pretty challenging. Um, what are some of the Ninja Gaiden? Popeye, which is Nintendo. Punch-Out right here. That's crazy. It says works. A working punch-out. That's going to go for some, some cash, guys. Uh, what else we got? Two working punch outs, holy goodness. Two working punch outs. Double Dragon, uh, Karnov. This is this is a Donkey Kong cocktail or the uh, four board stack. Centipede, Operation Wolf, Operation Wolf, Operation Wolf. And yeah, nothing really super interesting over here. But how cool is that, guys? There's all this cool stuff. Pallet monitors. We got uh, a fortune teller machine coming in. All these different other uh, old school things you'd see in your mall. You know, old Coke machine, weight machines, lots of lots of crazy stuff. Good selections in. Just a lot of quality stuff. Not a whole lot, but quality stuff today. More popcorn machines. What's this? <laughs> Just a box of like old prizes and stuff. Man, old Funko stuff. That's pretty cool. They're, I, I'm sure it's new, but it's made to look old by Funko. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty cool though. Lots of 80s, 80s type stuff. Lucky Charms, Pink Panther, Mr. T back there. Lots of cool stuff. All right. So guys, throw in the comments if there's any, anything else you want to see before we wrap this video up. You know, um, like I said, it's a little bit lighter today. We're usually in the big side of the uh, convention center. Today we're on the smaller side. But there's lots of great stuff here. Lots of cool stuff. There's nothing I personally have to have. There's nothing that i got to make sure I bid on. Um, it's just going to be cool to kind of walk around and see what things go for today. So another reminder, guys, if you haven't done so yet, Subscribe to the channel. It's Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We do vending and arcade content. But tomorrow, the full-blown coverage video of this auction is going to go live sometime tomorrow afternoon. Um, because we got to, after, after today's auction ends, we got to drive all the way back to South Carolina. We got to download all the video that we record. We have to edit it. It has to process, then it has to upload, then it has to process on the YouTube side. So lots of work goes into this, guys. So if you could support the channel, click subscribe. Watch our videos, like our videos, comment on our videos. Uh, anything you can do to help us, would, we would really appreciate, guys. So, again, we're going to wrap this video up here in just a moment. Uh, was there any Mario Kart GPs? Chris, I did not see any Mario Kart GPs today. And usually we see those here. But I didn't see any today. Now, there's still some trucks coming in to unload. Look, you can see there, there's the unload area up there. But so far, I haven't seen any Mario GPs. But, you know, again, subscribe, watch tomorrow's video. We will show everything and what they sold for tomorrow. 
All right, guys. Any other questions before we wrap this video up? And again, I apologize for the shaky cam. Don't forget, tomorrow's video will have the actual good camera with the image stabilization, so there won't be all the shaky cam as I walk around. So again, I apologize for that. All right. Well, I don't see any other questions coming in. Let's go ahead and get this thing wrapped up. So again, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of great stuff coming your way. We've got lots of vending collection videos, arcade there, lots of cool stuff. Um, again, click subscribe, click the bell notification so you get a notification when our new videos and our live streams go live. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up to like the video and also share our videos with your friends and arcade groups. House of the Dead 4. I didn't see any House of the Deads today. Huh. No, I didn't see any House of Deads. Apologize, man. Like I said, the auction's a bit lighter today. Well, there's Dave Peck live streaming on the uh, Facebook group, I bet. All right. We're going to walk down this road, and then we'll wrap it up, guys. All right, so, again, don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate everyone's support. And the full-blown auction video goes live tomorrow afternoon, which is Sunday, December 13th. Last questions, guys. Any other questions? All right, let's go ahead and end this video, guys. Thanks again for coming and joining us this morning and watching our preview. I appreciate everyone's comments and interactions with this video. Thanks again for coming along. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate your time, your support. Everyone, thank you very much. All right, again, don't forget to subscribe. Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We will see you tomorrow.